Okay, everybody, we're up at uh, 4,500 and we're directly over the top of the Gainesville Airport in Circling. And today we're going to show you a video on how to use a VOR. VORs are extremely confusing and it, it always is because you're introduced to the VOR in a book. And that's confusing enough. A lot of people like me, we like to visually see it. And once we visually see it, then we can understand it, okay? So I'm going to talk to you about the VOR indicator, okay? So I'm going to tune in the buoy VOR. I'm going to click it on, okay? And uh, so here's our little VOR indicator. It's got 360 degrees radials. And then we have a front flag. And we also have a two flag. And we also have a uh, deflection needle, okay? And that's going to show us if we're left or right, of course. This is for shooting instrument approaches. It's a, it's a glide slope indicator. Talk about that later on instrument stuff, okay? So first off, how, why do we use VOR? Well, for private pilots and for your practical test, what you're going to do is the examiner's going to say, okay, you're lost. How do you find out where you are? Where you are, and what they're looking for is for you to tune into a VOR. So we got the buoy VOR uh, tuned in, and all the information is going to be here in this little box. So the frequencies can be one, one, two point four. I'm going to put that frequency frequency into my nav portion of my radio. Okay. I'm going to hit the button, flip it over into the active spot. Okay. After that, I'm synced into the buoy VOR, and now we want to figure out where we are from a, uh, from the buoy VOR. Okay. It's very simple. It's really confusing because you have a two flag and a front flag and all that, and you want to figure out where you are. Just forget that. Just only focus on the two flag. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the needle until I get a two indication. And then that centers, okay? So that tells me in order to go to the station, I need to fly a heading of roughly 250 degrees. Now, now, how do we know where we are from it? Well, it's simple. If we go to it, 250 degrees, just read the reciprocal. So about 070. So if you look at my little chart, you can you can visualize this. We're over the top of the airport. We're going to fly roughly 250 degrees. We go fly to it, and we're from it at the 070 radial, okay? Now, if we have a DME, which is distance measuring equipment on here, we can do it and it'll tell you the distance away from the VOR, okay? So what you do is you just want to go fly to a heading of 250 degrees and then you'll just track straight to the buoy VOR, okay? Now what happens whenever you're set up like this, you'll have your needle and you want to follow your needle. So if I start flying left of course, so I'm going to show you this. If I'm centered up here and I start to fly left, of course, the needle is going to move over in this direction. Okay, so it's indicating, hey, the line's over there, go chase the line. So you want to turn about 15 to 20 degrees back over the other direction in order to go chase it. Okay, now in this case, we're pretty much right on the on the line, so I'm not going to make I'm not going to make much deflection. Okay, so you see, I got off a little bit on my altitude, so I'm going to go back to 250 degrees, maybe 255, and I'm going to go to it. Okay, so let's use another example. Okay, so we're going to use the Maverick VOR. Okay, so the Maverick VOR is going to be the one down there, just on the south side of the DFW airport. Okay, the frequency for it is in these little boxes. 113.1. One, one, so I'm going to put this into my little radio. 113.1, one, one, okay. I'm going to hit it. It's going to go into the active deal. And then I have a swing in all of my needles, okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to twist it. I don't want a front flag. I only want a two flag. So I'm going to continue to switch and twist around. Now I'm getting a two flag. Now I just want to center the needle. Okay, there's the needle. I'm going to center it, so about right there. So in order to go to the VOR, I want to fly roughly about 158 degrees. Where are we from it? Okay, we're to the north, northwest of it, okay? And you can verify that by looking at this, okay? So we're about, you know, we're not due north of it, we're about north, northwest of it, okay? So what I'm going to do is in order to go to it, I want to turn. Turn to a heading of roughly 158 degrees and then just track straight to it. So it's really simple, okay? 
And the reason why they ask you this on the check ride is a lot of times, especially whenever I've done flights down to Del Rio, there's just no landmarks over there. So you may go fly for 150 miles before you see any remote, you know, town or road or anything like that. And um, so sometimes you can get lost, but if you tune into a VOR, pretty much there's always going to be airports around the VOR. So you can see the buoy VOR here, it's got an airport. The bottom VOR, uh, of course DFW, Ardmore has got a VOR up at that, Shepherd Air Force Base, the Shepherd Morristown Falls airports. And uh, so if you get lost, you can always go find an airport really quick. So there we go. So I'm tracking roughly 160 degrees, and I'm tracking to the line. Okay, and that's pretty much VOR navigation. Like I said, you want to find your uh, find your two two flag first, and then to figure out where you are uh, from it, you go and look off of the reciprocal, the bottom of it. So I'm going to do one more real quick. I'm going to do 16.7, which is the Ardmore VOR. I'm going to keep twisting until I get a two flag. Okay, there's my two flag. The weight. There's my needle. Center it back up. So in order to fly to the Ardmore VOR, I need to fly almost a due north heading. Okay, where we are from it, we're due south of it. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the airplane. I'm going to fly to a roughly uh, probably a zero five heading, five degree heading, and then I'm going to track straight to the VOR. And that's pretty much VOR flying. This it doesn't get. Uh, any easier than that. So I hope this video helps. Talk to you guys later.